we need to do we need to do some slight modifications to our to our assembly lines so that we can make these bacterial hard drives instead of just fucking tracking chips. Uh, that's fucking hilarious. Well, like the car rental market is fucking destroyed. If I couldn't find a fucking car rental around here to save my life right now. Shit, they had a, a major, uh, who was it? I'm trying to think. One of the big, big, uh, car company, or big rental companies like Budget or something, or, you know, one of those. Down in Florida, I used to live, I wasn't living there at the time, I'd lived there previously, but there's an airport down there in, uh, what the fuck is it? It's like Bonita Springs or Fort Myers or something. And it's like an international airport for the area. And they had a huge parking lot full of rental cars, you know, like 5,000 cars or something. And somehow they all lit on fire, all these fucking cars, dude. And they had this huge plume of nasty smoke. I was kind of glad I didn't live there at the time. Because I was probably five miles away from there. <laughs> Excuse me. They lit on fire all at once? <laughs> yeah, they like all went up. Like it was windy or something. And, you know, the tires and everything, they just caught on fire. I'm trying to... Because they do have, uh, like, they have, they have fires down there. It dries out in the summertime. And, like, the... The Everglady swampy shit dries out, and then it just catches on fire, all the pine trees. And it just burnt this massive parking lot of uh, cars. It's crazy. I mean, it could have been arson, but... <laughs> yeah, it was an obscene amount of cars. It just burnt. <laughs> Like, we can't have anybody find any evidence of anything. Burn Sounds it all. Like yeah. Big insurance claim. Oh. Oh, monster. Cash that check and get the fuck out. So wow. that's probably a year, maybe a year before the whole thing. Or two. I just wonder if it affected, you know, the, the availability of rental cars because I think it was one of their main lots. Could be. They were certainly having a problem fucking supplying it. That's for sure. There is a problem. When we rented that car and we went up to the Dells, um, it must have only been a few days later I drove by because I was, I was working out in Schaumburg or something and I kept driving by the rental place and it was gone. It became this like collision, collision bodywork shop. The rental car place was gone? Yeah. It, it was transferring over to this collision, auto collision place. Because they had like, they had a couple garage bays in there and shit, you know, as well as like the office space. So. That happened pretty quick. Yeah, it did. I was like, fuck, I think we were probably some of the last people to fucking rent from there at all. Hmm. Very strange. Stuck it in my ass for the fucking uh, I-pass bill. It's like, fuck, if I would have known you were going to charge me an extra 30 bucks, you know, fucking, I would have, I would have Borrowed your iPass. Fucking cocksucker. Oh, extra seven dollars a day. I'm like, god damn. Skin flint. Kuiper. Kuiper. There you are. Yeah, yeah. Buy the Kuipers. <laughs> I used to fucking. I used to go to Kuipers in. Uh, where the fuck was that place? Kuipers Farm. Oh, I don't remember. It was around here somewhere. So they charge you an extra fee for the iPass, is that it? Yeah, like an extra seven bucks a day, and I was like, man, that's fucking lame. But Yeah, they probably cost them like a buck. Yeah. And of course they don't say, Well, if if they if you just 
if you just let it bill bill the the license plate, um, we're gonna charge an extra like thirty goddamn dollars on top of it. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, man! You just get worked, fucking like you're saying going into the city. You just get worked. Yeah, everything's a fucking screw job. Yeah, going to the city, man. The city, I I officially declare cities lame as hell for the time being. I don't imagine too well, much. I've always been pretty lame, if you ask me. Yeah, but they've gotten, like, more annoying even. I mean, going downtown last night, I was like, what the fuck? This is like people crawling all over each other. And, and in this city here, near me, um... You mean Chicago? I do. In that place, in particular, it's such a particularly rank species of hipster fucking assholes. Man, it just looks like they're all trying to compete to see who's the biggest fucking jackass. Biggest twat? Well, in a way... You know, again, maybe I'm just of a certain age and it's like doing shit like that has just kind of lost its luster. Even though I was never, you know, I was never necessarily the hugest, like, city guy, but, you know, it was always fun. But we went, you know, I went down there about seven years ago to see Robert Plant, and I was, even at that point, I was already kind of getting, like, over it. You know, you wear, like, a nice sport coat and some, you know, some nice pants and a shirt, whatever the fuck. But people are bumping into you and beer and crap. And I was, ah, man, this is fucking lame. Yeah, I don't I don't see the, the appeal to big concerts, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I guess if it was us playing, it'd be different, but, you know. There you have it, see? That's the one exception. Go. That's the one exception I'll make. Yeah. Go, going to it is pretty fucking lame. You know, yeah. it's just a lot of trouble for some mediocre entertainment, usually, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's the live version. Like, that just usually means fucking slackery or extended solos and shit. Yeah, and they're all exhausted from being on the road because, you know, Chicago's kind of a midpoint. Yeah. Fuck. Overpaid crybabies. Right. Old man. Old man crank and shit. And you know, fucking money. Fuck them. It's true. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them. What? Alpine Bailey used to be pretty cool. Alpine was cool. I liked Poplar Creek a lot. Yeah, that was, wasn't too bad. Wasn't the too Rose bad. Line, which was kind of annoying. The World Music Theater, I, I always hated going there. Yeah. The, the it's just too, too damn big or something. Yeah, and the horribly obstructed views and shit. Yeah, and it was just too fucking far south. Where the hell is that place? It's like past I-55, you know, it's like way the fuck down there south. Oh, that can eat a shit stick. Yeah. It's like no man's land. It's like every man's land, but no man's land. It's like, I don't know anybody that lives over there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yet there's like millions of people. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? Those people don't know anybody that lives there either. So. <laughs> it's like south of like Midway Airport and shit. It's just over out there. Fuck that. That is some bullshit. So I guess what'll happen is people just decide to stay home. But everybody wants to get out because they missed so much in the past year, you know. So many things that could have been done that they, you know, they just weren't allowed to do, so now they're going to make up for it. Did you experience much of that personally? 
No. Neither did I. I mean, I've kind of come to the resolve that I don't need to do everything and go everywhere anymore. Yeah, fuck, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I, I like being at home. Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, I like checking shit out, but still, it's kind of exhausting. Sometimes. You know, especially with kids and... Many things happening. Whiny, whiny people. Oh. <laughs> it's like we went down to Huntsville, Alabama. Mm-hmm. Only a couple hours, you know, but uh, I took the back roads back, and uh, man, the line and started. This is taking too long. It's like, Jesus Christ! It's like fucking enjoy the scenery. What? It took an extra fifteen minutes to a half an hour. Wow! It's like you want to get on the fucking main highway. I can just miss everything. Fuck it. Trying to get a lay of the goddamn land. Shit. <laughs> How dare you, you bastard. Oh, but I was telling you, they got a Wahlburgers down there. Yeah. Stop in I for I thought a... about going, but I was like, man, I ain't going to drop fucking 50, 60 bucks so we can get a fucking half-ass fucking shit burger. Uh, a ball burger. But you can get a Harvey sack, yeah. <laughs> Harvey sack of fries. Some bland fucking macaroni and cheese. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Even with bacon in it, still like flavor. It's like, how the fuck do you do that? It's probably like fat free bacon fucking chips or something. Yeah. Speaking of fucked up fast food, my son and I came up with something. It's called, it's called McChrist. <laughs> 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 Is, do well in the south. Is Jesus and a side of fries? <laughs> yeah, your French fry fucking holder has like a, a cross on it. Yeah. It's like it's red with like a yellow cross or yep. yellow with a red cross. Yep. Jesus and a side of fries. Salvation and a Diet Coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Yeah. The, the aspartame will make you ready to receive the message. Yeah, your pupils will be well dilated. You'll be you'll be ready to receive <laughs> to, to receive all the messages in your ass. <laughs> you'll be Cosby, but you'll be wide awake. They got like these big, oh. huh? Big like I don't know if they're plastic. There are like these big white crosses down here. Mm -hmm. And at some church, they're like massive crosses, you know, they're like fucking five stories high. And uh, I think they light up at night. You can see them like a mile away when you're coming up. They'll just be like on the side of the highway. Mm -hmm. You ever seen one of those? Yeah. Yeah, there's a handful of them. I see them here and there. I think I've seen one in, uh, well, between Nashville and, uh, Chicago, I've seen one for sure. It's right off of, uh, like 57 or something. You know, I found though that when I'm, when I see them on the side, on the sides of the highway or whatever, I can't look mm -hmm. at them because if I look at them, I tend to like transfix and stare at them. And then I find that I, um, almost unconsciously steer the car toward that. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I tend to just kind of keep my eyes forward when I see it out the periphery. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, where, where your eyes, <laughs> eyes go, you go, right? Totally. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's just this one thing that I look at, I just fucking, the car just starts steering toward it. So I find it a danger zone. Well, you're turning turning towards Christ, brother. That's true. <laughs> I didn't think about it that way. He, maybe he was just trying to call me home. Yeah. He needs to go there. I, I saw this thing in Alabama. It was a, a sign that said... Uh, <laughs> it was like a billboard. Turning and towards it, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes. 